What I want to do in this video is explore differences in times. Or another way to think about it is how much time passes between two different times. And to make that concrete, let's say that I start watching a movie at 1 at 1:25 p.m. and let's say that the movie finishes the movie finishes at 3:16 p.m. So how long can how, how do we figure out how long that movie was? So it starts at 1:25 p.m. and it ends at 3:16. And there's a couple of ways to do this. One, I'll do it with a number line, which is kind of the slower way, but it's easier to visualize. And then I'll show you a slightly faster way to do it. And then we'll think about how do we figure how do we think about it if one of them is a.m. and then the other one is p.m. So let's just think about it one step at a time. So let me just draw a little I guess we could call it a timeline. So if this right here is 1:25 p.m. 1:25 p.m. and that this right over here is 3 3:16 p.m. So what I do when I think about it this way is I say okay, well how many minutes do I have to get to the next whole hour? And if I'm at 1:25, it takes 35 minutes to get to the next whole hour. So if you give me 35 minutes, so this is 35 35 minutes, that gets me to 2 o'clock. And then if you give me another hour, that gets me to 3 o'clock. So if you get me another hour, that gets me to 3 o'clock. And so this is 1 hour, 1 hour. And then you give me another 16 minutes, that gets me to 3.16. So it's 16 minutes. So the total amount of time that passes is going to be 1 hour plus 35 minutes plus 16 minutes. So what's that? So 35 plus 16, I'll do it right over here. 35 plus 16. 5 plus 6 is 11. 1 plus 3 is 4 plus 1 is 5. So it's 51 minutes. So it's 1 hour and then 51 minutes, right? 35 minutes plus 16 minutes is 51. So we get 1 hour 1 hour and 51 and 51 and 51 minutes. Now, what is another way to do this? And this way is pretty analogous to when we just subtract numbers and maybe we do a little bit of borrowing but the or regrouping, but the borrowing or the regrouping is different. If I said that we started at 2 p.m. and finished at 3 p.m., you would just say, okay, 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. Or if I said we started at 1 p.m. and we finished at 9 p.m., you would just say, okay, 9 p.m. minus 1 p.m. is equal to 8 hours. But the problem here is we have some we have minutes along with the hours and it gets a little confusing because there's there's 60 minutes to an hour and all of that and that's why we're going to do a little bit of a I guess you could call it a borrowing trick. So what you say is let's subtract 125 from 316, but we have to keep in our mind that we're dealing with times here. So we're going to subtract so we're going to subtract 1 hour and 25 minutes from 316. And we can do this right now because we're both ta we're talking about p.m. in either case. What we're going to see in future video, or maybe later in this video, is if one of them is a.m. or one of them is p.m., it's probably good to convert them both to military time. And we can think about that in the next video. But let's, in just this situation, how do we subtract 125 from 316? So let's try it out. So like all subtraction, you see you try to see if the numbers in above that you're subtracting from are larger than the numbers that you're taking away from those numbers. 6 is larger than 5, so we're cool there. 1 is not larger than 2. So we want to borrow or we want to regroup. And we want to borrow from the 3 right over here. Remember, this is 3 hours. So if we were to borrow one of those hours, so instead of 3 hours, we now have 2 hours here. What can I add to this 1? So when you do traditional borrowing, since every place is 10 times the previous place, you would add 10 to this place. But since we're talking about hours and minutes, so this is the 10 minute spot, right? This is the one minute spot, this is the 10 minute spot. If you take away one hour, you get six 10 minute spots. So what you do is you add six to this spot right over here. So you add six. So if you're t if you're borrowing from the hours and giving it to the tens or the the ten spots of the minutes, then you'll add six. So you'll add six. Actually, it should be a six. We're going to add six. So it's one plus six is seven. And now we can subtract. We have six minus five is one. Seven minus two is five. That's our minutes, and then 2 minus 1 
2 minus 1 is 1. And we're done. We're at we're 1 hour and 51 minutes. So you didn't have to completely visualize it this way, although this is a little bit more intuitive. Let's do one that crosses that crosses the 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 AM PM barrier. So let's say that we are starting. Let me draw another 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 number line here. So let's say we are starting at 9 let's say we're starting at 9 9 16 AM. And we are going all the way to, I'll do it in the same color. Let's say we're going all the way to 10, 10, 15, 10, 15 p.m. Actually, let me do a slightly different one. Let's do 10, 10, 17, 10, 17 p.m. So in our traditional, the way we do it visually, if, if you don't want to convert anything to military time, what we can do in this situation is just say, OK, how much time does it take us to get to noon? And then how much time from noon till 10, 17 PM? So if we think about how much time it takes us to get to noon, that's one way to do it. So let me draw 12. This is 12 PM right over here. So it's going to take 44 minutes to get to 10 AM. right? So this right here is 44 minutes. That's to get to 10 AM. I got 44 by taking by subtracting 16 from 60. So 44 minutes gets us to 10 AM. And then obviously we have another 2 hours till noon. 2 hours. And then we have 10 hours and 17 minutes till 10:17 PM. So now we have and then now this is 10 hours 10 hours and 17 minutes. So now we just add everything up. We have 2 hours plus 10 hours, which is 12 hours. So we have 12 hours. And then 17 minutes plus 44 minutes. So what's that? Let me just add it right over here. 44 plus 17. 4 plus 7 is 11. 4 plus 7, oh, sorry, 4 plus 5 is, 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6. So we have 12 hours and 61 minutes. Which I guess is right, but it's strange to say 61 minutes, because we know that this is more than an hour. So 61 minutes, this part we can rewrite as one hour, one hour, and one minute. One minute. And then we can add this hour to this hour, and we get 13 hours, 13 hours, and one minute. Now the other way to do it. The other way to do it is we could do it this way up here, where we essentially subtract the, the starting time from the ending time. For it. But in order for that to work properly, we want to convert everything to military time. And it sounds like a very fancy thing, but in military time, anything that is PM, you just add 12 hours to it. And what the, the reason why that makes sense is, and the reason why the military cares about it, is it becomes clear. If I tell you, if I tell you that we're going to go at 9 o'clock, it's very unambiguous that the, the project or the, the whatever, the invasion or whatever, will start at 9 AM. If I wanted to say 9 PM, I would add 12 to 9. And I would say we're going to go at 2100 hours. It makes it very clear that that is 9 PM. So what you do is you convert both to military time. So 9.16 AM is still going to be 9.16 AM. 9.16 AM. But 10.17 PM, we're going to add 12 to it. We're going to add 12 to it. And in military time, it'll be 22.17. So this right here is military time. Military military time. And so we can subtract the starting time from the ending time now. 22.17, and we can subtract. And actually, I shouldn't even write the AM here. We're talking about military time. So you don't have to differentiate between AM and PM here. And then we subtract. 7 minus, and it doesn't look like we have to do any borrowing here. 7 minus 6 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. And then we go into the hours, and we have to do a little bit over here. Or we could just know what 22 minus 9 is. But let's, let's borrow just. So here we're just borrowing hours from hours. So if we borrow, if we borrow, if this 2 becomes a 1, we can add 10 to this 2 right over here. So this becomes a 12. 12 minus 9 is 3. And then you just bring down that 1. And we have 13 hours and 1 minute. So the same result. This is a little bit faster, actually a lot faster. And you're less likely to make mistakes. You, have to do all, you don't have to do all this stuff in your head.